Let's take a look at the Steinhardt Ocean 39 stainless steel uh, GMT watch, um, a fairly new release from Steinhardt. Uh, this is actually my third Steinhardt. I have owned two of their 42 millimeter uh, watches and I have sold them um, because I feel like uh, 42 millimeters is actually too large for my wrist. Um, I have a six and a half wrist and uh, I feel like if you have anything larger um, than, than a six and a half um, inches wrist this watch may be small for you. I feel like it wears small however um, I do wear my watches uh, with a lot of um, NATO straps and um, with the NATO strap it looks actually smaller because this um, bracelet if you take a look at this is very thick it's actually much thicker than my uh, Rolex and uh, that when wearing it with the with the bracelet it gives more volume um, so the watch actually looks bigger with uh, its bracelet and then when you change it to something like a NATO strap for example uh, by the time of recording this video this uh, watch is a few months old so it has taken a few um, nicks and scratches main one is right over here and you will see it in, on some of the pictures that I have uh, taken let's take a deep dive and look at this beautiful watch some of the key features of this timepiece include a case made out of 316L stainless steel with uh, some satin and some polished parts. 316L is the most commonly used stainless steel in the jewelry and wash industry today with uh, the 904L gaining popularity. It has a Swiss made automatic ETA2893-2 movement with a GMT end date complications that beats at 4 Hz or 28,800 vibrations per hour. The diameter of the case is 39 millimeters. The height or case thickness is 13 millimeters. It has a lug to lug width of 20 millimeters and is also waterproof to 500 meters or 50 atmospheres. On the back we have a display window so the back plate is made out of stainless steel and sapphire crystal. The main crystal is dome made out of sapphire with a double anti-reflecting coating uh, on the inside or interior of the, of the watch or, or the glass. It has a black and blue ceramic bezel with numerals and uh, markers that are coated on super luminova. In the inside, the hour, minutes, and second hands, as well as uh, the dial markers are all coated on Super Luminova. When you get your Steinhardt, it will come very nicely protected with plastic, like most of the watches nowadays. Um, and I just uh, took this uh, video with my cell phone the same day that I got it, because I wanted to show people that are either looking for this same watch or they have a budget, let's say between $500 and $3,000. If you are one of those, you really have to look at this watch because you can end up spain, spending a whole lot more. And I will give a, an example of what I mean about that. And uh, just to get a watch with about the same movement, the same quality, I mean, it, it's, sometimes it's, it's really pointless. And, and I think uh, Steinhardt really nailed it with this watch. Um, I really love how the, um, how the, you know, this original bracelet tapers down. Um, I, I think the proportions are all very correct in this watch, even though I feel it's still a little small, uh, it wears small for, for certain people, but um, nonetheless, it's a beautiful watch. This is the first strap that I, I throw through on it, um, and I'm gonna put more photos and examples of what I've done with the watch, but um, uh, I'm, you know, overall, I'm really, really pleased with this watch. I think the quality that you get for the money that you pay is, is pretty much unbeatable. For example, let's take a look at this um, Breitling Avenger 2 GMT uh, on Jomas Chop, which actually is a gray market. That means that this watch had a higher price, a higher retail price, as we actually can see here. Okay, so um, you know, this watch is based, so the movement in this watch is based, it says right here, 
on a 20, 2893-2 movement and see how much you can end up paying for a watch that is based on the same movement. That's about it in terms of what I had to say about this watch. Um, I'm going to try to leave links in the description below to the straps that I'm using uh, in these photos. Uh, I'm going to throw some background music and show you a bunch of photos that I took. Please keep in mind that I am not a professional photographer, so please be gentle. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.